Well, most of us who've owned a wah have seen this problem before. Floppy wah. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to fix it. What that is though, there's tension rods on the inside that I need to tighten. You can see them in there. That guy just arc laps, er, wraps over the top. Try to get a light in there. And over a little bar right in there. And you can get to them from the bottom if you take everything out, take the whole circuit board out. But I know you can just remove the treadle, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Let's see if we can figure that out. I can't find my awl, which is exciting. Kids, maybe. Or, to be fair, I probably put it away. But I've got this guy. So if it doesn't take a lot of pressure, then I'll be okay. But I don't want to damage this, so I'll see if I can get this out in here. I'm going to try tightening these. Actually, I'm going to clean it up. Ooh, it's real loose. Uh, I'm not sure about getting it back in under there. I'm going to work on it just to make sure. This was given to me for free, and the guy said, it doesn't work. And you can have it, because it didn't work. And lo and behold, I cleaned out the insides, fixed a few things. And I'm going to do this, and I should have a working wall. We'll see. I want to avoid getting dust and stuff in there. I can put some tiny bit. Well, I might have to take take off the back because that, that's pretty loose and there are bolts underneath. This is covered with some hairs and fun things like that, so I'll also clean the pin. I'll grease it later. Crumblies. This is the battery compartment foam. It's falling apart. Whee. Pretty nasty. Treadle screw. On the other side, you can see how loose it is. Now, of course, it doesn't have the uh, treadle through it, but I do need to definitely tighten it up, anyways. So I might have to. I've never adjusted it before, so we'll see if I get it right. This one has a. No. Two screws. I see clean. Sometimes when the uh Batteries rust out and they'll, the uh, corrosion, I'm sorry, the corrosion will come up the leads. I've seen it on a couple other walls, but since this is far enough away and yada yada yada, has done all right. There's a bolt and there's another bolt for that. It's kind of overkill to use a wrench like this on there, but I just don't have any tiny, tiny guys.
So a note on these. There's a short one and a long one. A short one. Oops. The short one is the one that goes underneath the PCB board. So on this side, it's a short one. Oof. This. It only goes on one way. Because otherwise it messes. Although I'm not sure if all that would be true for all make models, so I might want to check it out before you take it off. Right now I just got a finger tight. I think the, this part is a part I'm not 100% sure on how to do that. You know, hmm, I might swap, no, that won't work. So this is an unknown, this we got to figure out. Maybe it's one of these sides, maybe I'll take this off. Yeah, that's probably it. Keep this side loose. That's a mystery to me, is how, once I've got this, how I get it in. Because if I tighten this down, and then I try to put the treadle on, and this through, Okay, this stuff works great on van sliding doors, but you do want to seat it. Oh, so what I did is I went ahead and took off the top one, because I believe I can be able to reach in and, and tighten it by finger. We'll see. We'll see if this is the right way. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Very high fi Very high fi <laughs> You can see it. Slid, slid through pretty far. Set it in. Not too happy about. Definitely would help to have a drill press, I think. That would be better. It feels like, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, 
probably poke it in just a little bit more, but that did it. It's in. So now it's just tightening it, which is funny because it's looser than how I had it. So let's see if I can even do what I proposed that I could do. I can't get my finger in there, so I don't know how you're supposed to tighten these. Well, I loosened this end, which now I can get that in there with my finger. It's hard to see. Can't manage to get it in there. Yeah. See how tight I can get it. Fingers, hey Chihuahua. So I'm just using leverage on the uh, can't even see it. See how it's sticking up right there? So I'm trying to push this part of the, the tongue of the uh, strap down, leverage, and then that way I can tighten. Oops. Very high fi That's the trick. No, it's not the trick. I can get my finger. See how far down we got. We've got some tension. I think I need this to tighten it a little bit more. That works. So I was using my finger to touch, hold the uh, screw from spinning, then using this to lever. That down. A little awkward. And then I use the, the weight of the block to hold the whole thing down. Yeah, it's, uh, don't have a fancy tools for the job. Cool, I think I got it. Yay! Huzzah! Let's put it back together. You, anyhow, you can adjust it by taking off that screw and then you can pull this back and then manually turn the potentiometer. So I'm going to have to see what Where's it's set up at once I set it. That's a potentiometer. That's a potentiometer right there. Oh. Wolfie, you're going to help me, alright? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two screws mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. and this goes mm -hmm. right on here. See? Mm -hmm. See the two holes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. The battery leads, I don't need them in my life. Put one of the screws in there. You can finger tighten it.
I crack it. Let me attach this. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can see it. There. Good job, Wolf. And we'll probably get them mostly finger tight. Because they're little nubs. Mm -hmm. You're a good helper, dude. You know what's funny about this? It's made for guitars now, but when they first came up with it, this guy's named Clyde McCoy. Mm -hmm. He was a trumpet player. They made this for trumpets. What? How do you plug a trumpet into this? Thanks guys for watching uh, Noise Junk. It's just a fun channel. We're subscribe and bells and whatever, whistles. Uh, coming up, I'm going to make a video about these quick DIY uh, wah risers that I use. I don't have to remove the little rubber feetsies. All right. Bye, I guess.